Ron. Thanks for checking this out. In this video, we're going to look at a few things that might be fun to try out with your flute circle friends. So grab your favorite medium A flute and let's do this. I'm going to play one phrase and I'd like for you to try to play it back to me. Um, I think you'll recognize this. In fact, I kind of think of it as the flute circle anthem because if you spend an afternoon with your flute circle friends jamming, uh, you're going to hear this phrase or something very like it probably dozens of times. So you ready? Here we go. Okay, it's your turn. Well, that was pretty easy, wasn't it? Uh, now let's, uh, let's up the ante a little bit. I'm going to put up a pretty picture so you can't see what I'm doing. And this time I'm going to play two phrases to you. The, the first phrase is going to be the one I just played, but then I'm going to add another one onto it and see if you can play both of them back. Are you all set? Listen carefully. How did you do? Okay, that was kind of a mean trick to play. Let me show you what I actually did. That time I was playing this flute. This flute is a, a flute in E, and I was using the alternate pentatonic scale that we talked about in the last video. If you didn't see that or want to review it, there's a link in the description box. Uh, here's a keyboard map that shows you the actual pitches approximately that were coming out of this flute. You remember from last time uh, that the interval pattern for this mode is a little bit different from our regular minor pentatonic scale, but the interval content is very similar in that it's all about intervals of two and three. And what I'm uh, going to show you is how to kind of, one way to exploit that similarity of interval patterns. All right, so here's another keyboard map, and it's showing you a couple of things. The red letters are showing you the notes that come out of my flute in A when I play regular minor pentatonic scale. And the blue notes are showing you the letter names of the pitches that come out of my medium E flute when I play alternate pentatonic scale. As you can see, the letter names of the pitches the two flutes are playing are exactly the same. They're just laid out a little differently on the flutes. There's even a whole lot of overlap in the range of the flutes, actually. So, so why is this cool? What can I do with it? Well, one of my favorite things to do is to realize that I have all of the notes to play minor pentatonic scale here, but now they're laid out on the flute so that the final, the center of gravity, the place where a tune will want to end, is now here in the middle of the flute instead of at the bottom of the flute. And that opens up a whole bunch of new melodic shapes for me where I can actually go below the note where the melody is ultimately going to end. Listen. Sorry, I wasn't showing you my fingers, but this is where I ended up. Now, you, you couldn't do that uh, if I were just playing regular minor pentatonic scale, because when I'm playing minor pentatonic scale, the center of gravity where the melody wants to end is down here at the bottom of the flute. Now, I've worked with so many students who are really, really frustrated because they feel like all of their melodies sound the same. Here's a way you can bring uh, some real fresh melodic shapes to your melody writing learn and get comfortable with alternate pentatonic scale, and then you can make melodies that go below where it's going to end. Right? And that's a, a nice, fresh new shape that uh, we oftentimes don't get to hear on our flutes. 
Here's something else fun you can do with your flute circle friends. These are the two flutes I've been playing today, my regular medium E that I use for all these videos, and a flute that's pitched lower than that. And here's what I would like for you to notice. This is a relationship that is very re useful for us. All right, on my lower flute, I'm going to play this fingering. All right, keep this note in your head. Now I'm going to play the bottom note on this flute, all holes covered. As you can hear, they are the same note. And if we look at the little keyboard graphic, uh, the, the map that we had up earlier, um, the red A that you see is the bottom note of this flute, right? And the blue A that you see is the fingering I was using on this flute. Uh, it doesn't necessarily have to be a flute in E like this one and a flute in A like this one. Whenever we have a pair of flutes that have that relationship, you can give this a shot. The higher flute, whoever's playing the higher flute, uh, can just play in regular old minor pentatonic scale, basic scale if you want to call it that. And whoever's playing the lower key flute can play the alternate pentatonic scale that we've been working on. And if you do that, you'll be playing the same notes, and even though the two, two flutes are tuned to different keys, they work really well to make duets together, and you can explore all kinds of different textures and ranges and fun things like that. Here's a really brief example of how that might work. Do you want to flip it? Do you want to have the higher flute play alternate pentatonic and the lower flute play regular minor pentatonic? Here's the relationship to look for. Again, we're going to listen to the bottom note of the higher flute. So all holes covered, the fundamental of the flute. And if the lower flute matches that with this fingering, you're good to go. Now the lower flute can play regular minor pentatonic or basic scale, and the higher flute will play alternate pentatonic. Here again is a short example of how that might work. With the higher flute, we are always interested in the bottom note, the fundamental of the flute. And when this fingering on the lower flute matches that, then the higher flute plays regular minor pentatonic, basic scale, if you will, and the lower flute plays the alternate pentatonic that we've been working on. Now, whenever this fingering on the lower flute matches the bottom note of the higher flute, now the lower flute plays regular pentatonic, and the higher flute plays alternate pentatonic. Got that? Now, for you music geeks out there, here's another way to think about this relationship. When the bottom notes of the pair of flutes are a perfect fourth apart, then the higher flute plays regular pentatonic, and the lower flute plays alt. When the bottom note of the two flutes are a perfect fifth apart, flip it. Then the bottom flute plays regular pentatonic, and the higher flute plays alt pentatonic. All right, that should help you keep it straight a little bit anyway. Now, like anything with our flutes, your mileage may vary. Uh, you got to remember that our flutes are not made to sound all alike or to play all the same notes or play all the same intervals or play all the same interval patterns even. So you're really going to have to trust your ears as well when you're trying to pair flutes. But I really like 
alternative pentatonic mode. I like it for the phrase shapes it brings, uh, the, the fresh kind of ways we can shape melodies when we can get below the final of the mode. And I like the ease with which we can pair flutes that were made in different keys but can still play really nice duets together. Now we are fast approaching uh, the winter solstice season and so uh, in the next video we're going to be looking at a scale that will help you play a couple of lovely old seasonal songs. Uh, in the meantime, let me know in the comment box if you have any questions about alternate pentatonic or you need any additional follow-up about that mode. Uh, also, if you use this mode, let us know how we can hear what you like to do with it. Uh, as always, please hit those like and subscribe buttons if you found this useful. Share it with your friends, share it with your uh, flute circle. And if you want to dive deeper or move a little bit faster, uh, maybe consider contacting me, direct message, or visit the website, and we can talk about some you know, co coaching sessions or private lessons, maybe a workshop about songwriting with these different modes that, uh, that you can invite your flute circle to. A lot, lot of different options there. All right, so... Um, have fun at Flute Circle, and I will see you next time. <laughs>